Here's how to beat Lubu in Wolong Fallen Dynasty. At the start he'll pull up his horse and shoot a volley of arrows. You can block or deflect them. If you deflect them your spirit will build up positively in the blue. If you block them it'll drain it into the yellow slightly. Immediately buff your weapon with ice weapon. And by weapon I mean dual swords. On the left is an image of mine. These dual swords scale with water so to get the most out of them make sure you stack all of your points into the water phase before the fight. Ice weapon buffed dual swords apply the chill status very quickly if you have chill accumulation or enemy status effect accumulation on all of your gear pieces. Look at this image, in it I've highlighted the four main stats to make this fight easier. In short, they are stats to increase the speed of applying chill and increasing the amount of spirit damage you can do. The perk element imbued weapon spirit damage is ideal as it does more spirit damage than most other perks and you'll have ice weapon on your dual swords all the time so it's always going to be active. Ok let's rewind that back to the start. In this fight don't use any martial arts attacks at all or heavy spirit attacks either, just light attacks. As soon as chill procs he staggers giving you a second or two to dish out even more damage. Chill also causes spirit regeneration to slow and if he's low in spirit it also causes his spirit to deplete faster when he's attacked with spirit depleting attacks. Since breaking his spirit is the only way to get fatal strikes and since that's also the main way to really get damage on him, keeping chill on him for as much of the fight as possible is the main goal here. After he fires his arrows he will either ride at you and swing at you, ride away and fire more arrows or do one of two possible red crit attacks. You'll see all of these possible attacks throughout the fight but in my case he did his rush at you red crit attack. So let's watch that again. You can tell when it's coming because the horse rears up and he spins his weapon around the top of his head. This is one attack you don't try to deflect at the last minute as that will be too late. Instead the time to deflect is just as the horse's front feet are landing back on the ground. Right when you see this very very brief glint. Basically you want to be too early rather than too late with this one. Keep hitting until he moves then immediately hold guard. Don't try to deflect as you'll probably get hit if you do, just hold guard and tank his really fast retaliatory hit once. He'll only hit once. Again, always buff with ice weapon at every opportunity. It doesn't matter if it's harming your spirit or maxing it out. The key to winning this fast is to constantly have ice on your dual swords. Red crit rush attack again, deflect when the horse comes down. Light attacks, chill procs, then keep going till he moves and hold guard. Just remember there's no pattern here, he'll do whatever he has in his arsenal when he wants to do it. But the main thing to know is when he's on horseback you need to break his spirit to knock him off. You can see his spirit bar is almost filled in the negative orange there. I know he'll come off his horse next flurry as his spirit is about to break. When he's knocked off his horse back off to the very centre of the map and buff with ice weapon. When Lubu is on the ground he uses fire attacks but your water sword will cancel them out. The first time he falls off his horse he'll always do a big leaping red critical attack. You can deflect that at the very last moment. This glint shows the right timing. And notice his fire is gone. I didn't even hit him once. See if you deflect while buffed with ice weapon it'll cancel his fire out immediately. With this red crit attack he'll drag his flamed on weapon along the ground right up to your face. This one is difficult to deflect because you have to be willing to let him get right up in your face before you press deflect. It's a real tight last minute window. That glint tells you when to deflect but you can't really wait to see it in the fight. You just have to get used to it with practice I think, but just remember if he's dragging his weapon along wait until the very last moment to press deflect. From a distance he'll often leap in, this one's an easy deflect at the last moment. It's really important to remember this is a deflect centric fight. If you miss your deflects and only block you'll find it much harder because the more you fail to deflect the more his spirit bar will recover. But the more you nail your deflects the more his spirit bar depletes. Combine that with the chill status and your gear being perked for spirit damage and you can break him pretty quickly over and over. So you just have to practice those deflects. Again constantly buff with ice weapon even when you already have ice on your weapon. Buffs don't last very long so at every opportunity put it back on to refresh the timer. I got hit there, now watch my health bar recover as well as my spirit bar recover as I nail a bunch of deflects. Even though I got hit again during all of that my health bar is now full and so is my spirit bar. My health got recovered because that is one of the perks of the Man of Benevolence armor set. The dual swords I'm using are also a part of that set. You can get the set by maxing out the oath level of Lu Bei. I have another video on how to do that in less than 10 minutes which I'll link in the description. 
Now the set only heals a small amount per deflect, but if you nail enough deflects, it'll make a lot of difference to how many times you need to use your Dragon Cure Pots to heal throughout the fight. Okay, this red attack is fast, and it's hard to see coming. He points his weapon straight up, there's a glint, but it's really fast. The trick is to press deflect when the glint vanishes, rather than when you see it. That's when he brings his weapon down in a fast swing. So as he brings his weapon down, that's when you press deflect. Always retreat to the center to avoid the horse running around the outside. That's the same red crit attack as before. Block it at the last moment, like before. However, once he's in the last half of his health bar, which is phase two of the fight, he will nearly always follow up one red critical attack with another. Try to keep it in your mind that in phase two of the fight, you don't attack after a red critical unless he's about to be staggered from proccing chill or unless he's already staggered because he'll probably do a second crit straight away that will get you otherwise. Here we see his leaping red crit attack that we saw in phase one, only this time I retreat because I know a second one is coming. The second one can of course be any of his red critical attacks. This one though has two deflect glints to keep in mind. The first is when he spins his weapon around his head. If you're in close, this glint is the time to press deflect. It's extremely difficult to time though, which is why I recommend always getting to distance after any red critical attack during phase two. The second glint is for when he finishes twirling and he's going to dart out at you. This is when to press deflect if you're at more of a distance. Once again, at every opportunity, run back to the center of the map. You really only need to be in the center when he's not on the horse, but just make it a habit to get to the center of the map. During phase two, when he's on the horse, he'll fire homing arrows twice in a row. This is the horse leaping attack. This is also an attack you can do at any point in the fight, including right from the start. Not too difficult to deflect, but there is no glint to help you. You just have to press deflect at the last moment before the horse lands. Mess that one up, but it's all good. He fires arrows, sometimes once, sometimes twice in a row, and sometimes he'll do them many times before coming in to engage you. You've just got to be prepared to deflect two volleys in a row. See, I should have backed off there because I should have known a second crit was probably coming. Those flame arrow attacks must be deflected. If you try to block them, you're going to get messed up. Again, just deflect before they hit you, and he always fires them twice in a row. I didn't counter attack there as I was expecting him to do a second red critical attack. Like I said before, he nearly always does a second one in phase two. He didn't there, but it's better to back off uh, than be sorry. As you can see, I didn't even use a healing elixir during that fight, and that's mainly because of the armor set I'm wearing healing me with each deflect. If you're wearing the same armor set and fighting how I suggested, once you practice a bit and get a handle on those deflects, you'll find that you've got plenty of heals up your sleeve and the fight will be over before you know it. All right, that's how to beat Lubu, and what I'll do now is I'll play the fight again without me interrupting it so that you can get a better feel for it. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll leave you with it.